is one of the most enjoyable things to do as a jazz guitarist. It's one of those things that you can't do on a saxophone in the same way, certainly is what you can do on the guitar. So I think it's, <clears throat> from the students that I've taught and from my own perspective, I think it's one of the most enjoyable things to do. That being said, we obviously need standards which we can take and work out solo arrangements too. So what are the best standards that you can learn as solo jazz guitar pieces? Now, of course, there's many of these, but what I've done here is I've narrowed that process down for you and I've just picked three which I consider to be fantastic standards um, which also make great chord melody studies as well. So the first one which I was just playing then was an old Jimmy Van Eusen tune called Damn That Dream. And the reason why that tune, Damn That Dream, has made the list is because usually when you're making a solo jazz guitar piece you've got to do many of the things to make it sound interesting. You've got to add harmony, different types of motion, walking bass, things like that. And that's all good, but the thing about this tune is that right out of the box you can play it and it's already got such a rich harmony behind the melody, this lovely ascending walking bass, that you just literally look at the lead sheet and bits of arpeggiation there so but that's playing it pretty much just from a lead sheet and it already sounds so nice and the harmony is so rich so I think if you're new to solo jazz guitar playing then check that one out guys if you are new to jazz guitar chords and you want to learn the right chords in order to be able to put a chord melody together, things like extended chords, drop two chords, then I can help you out. I've got my ebook, Beginner Jazz Guitar Chords, is a very structured method which is going to help you get all this stuff down so that you can create your own solo jazz guitar arrangements. If you want to check that out, it's listed and linked in the description below. There's over a hundred pages, it comes as a printable document and there's a bunch of etudes, loads and loads of chords, mp3 examples, backing tracks, it's a full course that I've composed to help you get started on your journey as a jazz guitar accompanist and chord melody player. So please check that out if you haven't done so already. So there that is. So down that dream, that's the first standard. The next standard, which I think makes a fantastic solo jazz guitar solo piece, is Autumn Leaves. And the reason why I've chosen Autumn Leaves is because there's so much you can do with this great standard. You could, I guess, play it in different levels. So when I teach this to beginner students, I usually say, look, just play it in call and response. So when you play through it, play through it slowly, play the melody and the chords after. a great way to get started you know if you're new to jazz guitar and these chords are what you're working on then it's a great way to form a solo jazz guitar piece without needing to know a bunch of chords of course further down the line that tune does get a bit more difficult with the C section it's a bit harder to play that in call and response but the vast majority of that tune you can play in call and response with fairly basic jazz chords so that's pretty good but going beyond that I always like to come back to Autumn Leaves. There's always something new you can discover with that. You can do all kinds of things. You could maybe add some contrary motion. As well, to um, fill it out a little bit more. There's all kinds of things you can do. So it's one of those that you can learn at a basic level and then add more things as you go further up on your development as a solo jazz guitarist. So Autumn Leaves is the second must-know chord melody tune. The last one is another great standard called All The Things You Are. And 
I always think this is a great one to learn for a drop two chords to do. So when you first begin to learn drop two chords, because the melody to this tune is usually the third of the chord throughout most of the song, right out of the box, you can play a chord melody of all the things you are. Of course, you know, there's other parts as you go on further where the straight up drop two chords won't work. Like that minor nine, that minor seven chord in the bridge, but all you have to do, there's your A minor seven drop two voicing, just extend that C to a D and there you go. So that's why that tune makes a great, um, a great beginner chord melody tune to do. Of course, you know, like Autumn Leaves, as well to make it more advanced as you go along but don't get overwhelmed with that when you first begin learn it at base level learn it with drop two chords and get through it like that so then you've got full control the worst thing you can do with any of this solo jazz guitar stuff if you're brand new to jazz is try and learn another a complex arrangement in which you understand none of it Okay, it's far better to have your own arrangement that you completely understand the harmonic working outs of it and then add more advanced things as you understand them rather than starting at the deep end and going backwards. So that's a much better idea to do, I find, you know, in when I'm working on this on these uh, solo arrangements and I'm, when I'm working on them with students as well. So there you have it, three must-know jazz guitar chord melodies. What do you think of these chord melodies? Are there any that I missed? Please share your thoughts in the comments below if I have. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up as well. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.